Hey everyone, and welcome back to the cradle. As you can tell from the title, I am very sick. Um, I have been sick. Today is Wednesday, right before Christmas. It's December 22nd, and I have been sick. Probably I started having symptoms Friday, so it's been a while. And I have not been getting very much better, but I thought I would do a little video because we checked the Merry Mail box and there is a couple of cards in the mail and I just wanted to do a little video and open those up. And right now I'm just chilling in my room with little Miss Aubrey Delilah and she has her little Christmas blankie. And we're just kind of chilling out in here. I've been watching YouTube videos in my room and just watching Christmas movies and things like that. And yep, we have a little Christmas tree in our room and I've been trying to wrap those presents. Um, and I still have a couple more to wrap. I've just been like sitting on my bed trying to sleep, but it's very hard. And so when I do have energy, I've been trying to wrap like a gift or two at a time. And we have a bunch of other gifts that my husband's going to wrap later. So, um, there is quite a few under the tree already out in the living room, but I was just keeping these ones in here. So nobody peeks, but I have quite a few more to do. And like I said, my husband still has to do some. So I'm just chilling out here with this sweet, precious baby, and I am going to open up a couple of cards. So this first card is from Annette Johnson from Sullivan, Illinois, and it has this really cute little sticker on the back. Super pretty little Christmas sticker. I love that. And it has like a green plaid background and that kind of matches my pajamas that I'm wearing right now <laughs> and this cute little card with the nutcrackers says Merry Christmas and this completely just cheers me up this is so sweet so cute I love all the glitter she says, hello, Misty. My name is Annette. I've been watching your YouTube channel for about three years now, and I absolutely love your babies and channel. I want to buy one of your babies. I know your web site is secure. I'm just not computer savvy. Just wanting to reach out and send some holiday greetings. Please be safe and happy holiday seasons. Lots of hugs and love, Annette. Aw, thank you so much, Annette. If you are worried about the site, you can always email me at kids to cradles nursery at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen. And I can always send you an invoice uh, from PayPal uh, through your to your email if if that makes you feel any better. That way you'll just receive it in your email and you can pay from there if you want to. So just let me know. And thank you so much and Merry Christmas to you and your family. I appreciate this card. So it's like the perfect thing just to cheer me up. So I will throw you a text out as well because you left your phone number on there. So I will give you a little text. And um, if there's a specific baby that you're interested in, you can just let me know. And we'll figure out some way that makes you feel a little bit safer, more secure. That's totally fine. But thank you so, so much for the Christmas card. And the second one is from Kim Dillon, and she lives in Blairsville, Pennsylvania. So this cute little card is super sweet. It says, Home for the Holidays. And every Christmas over the last few years, I've seen these little red farm trucks on everything. It seems to be the new thing. And it's so funny because my son, when he was 16, bought his first truck and it was called an International and it was a, a red farm truck just like this. 
and he wanted to fix it up and he just loved it. I think he's an old soul. <laughs> he really loves like old music and old cars and stuff. So, um, but he had this car and everybody that would drive by would ask about it. There were photographers that wanted to take pictures of it. It was really kind of a neat thing for him to have. I'll never forget that. But every time I see these little farm trucks, I think of my son. So we always around Christmas time are buying him like these little trucks and stuff. So it says, may your holiday tradition to bring you joy and peace, sending a holiday wish to you and the baby's family and family stay safe, happy and healthy all year long. <laughs> Love Kim Dolly's. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. It says, I so enjoy you and your channel. Your babies are beautiful. Hun, take care. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to show you this sweet little <laughs> uh decoration I'm looking on at on the tree as well but thank you and happy holidays to you and your family Merry Christmas everyone if I'm not on before Christmas I just want to say in advance Merry Christmas to everyone so we're always finding these little ornaments and things like this like blankets and little pillows that have these little international trucks on them because they're just so funny it just reminds me so much um of our son's first truck it's hilarious so i am gonna put a little bit of water on the stove i have some spring water in there to boil so i can make some tea but i just wanted to show you guys some things that i absolutely have been loving um while I've been sick and by the way I did take a COVID test and it was negative <laughs> so it's actually a lot of congestion a cough and a really painful sore throat and headache so uh, my doctor thinks it is strep so we've been treating that for strep um, but I did not go into the office it was a phone call because my doctor is booked up for a week so I had to do teledoc and I've really been loving this for my sore throat. It is a cough syrup and it works and it's very uh, natural. It has English ivy in it, which I've never heard of before. And it has elderberry in it. And then I've been taking these Ollie Active Immunity Vitamins. I've been taking these for quite a while, but I was doing the women's uh, daily vitamins. So I had my husband pick up this with the elderberry and it has echinacea and zinc and vitamin C in it. So I've been like really pounding this bottle of um, vitamins all week, hoping that'll help clear things up. And then my favorite thing is Yogi Tea and they have one that's called Throat Comfort. I'm getting ready to try this one right now, um, but I've been using this echinacea immune support i'm going to continue to use these two items even um just probably daily for quite a while um so but this one my throat is killing me so i'm about ready to drink some of this i've never tried this one before but i have been drinking yogi tea for years and this one is really really good if you're sick or you just want to build your immune system so I'm sitting here looking at these beautiful flowers. They look like Christmas flowers. Um, some of them have died, but I'm still preserving the majority of these beautiful flowers. Um, I got these earlier in the month from my husband for our anniversary because we got married in December. And I am realizing that I felt really good on this day and it was probably about two days after like two or three days after this that I did not start feeling well and I don't ever leave the house we went out to one of our favorite restaurants for our anniversary and um, now I'm starting to wonder because I was like how do I keep getting sick? Like, how does this happen? I've pretty much been sick since October, like the end of October, Halloween to be exact. Halloween day, I was stuck in bed, which is sad because it's one of my favorite holidays. 
but I'm pretty much wondering if when we went out to eat dinner, because I like never leave the house, y'all know I work from home and I try to stay away from people. And now I'm starting to look at these beautiful flowers. <laughs> I love daisies. <laughs> these are some of my favorite flowers. Um, but I'm wondering if it's when we went out to eat that I picked this little virus up, whatever it is. We think it's strep throat, like I said, but <clears throat> who knows? So I am going to make this little cup of tea in one of my favorite cups and with my favorite honey this is orange blossom honey and I get this when we go to visit North Carolina but as you can see it was actually produced here in Florida so but I did get this at a place called Blue Ridge uh, Honey Company and um, it says it's located in Georgia, but it's like right on the borderline of Georgia and North Carolina. We go up to North Carolina all the time and stay in a little cabin there. And I get this um, when we're up there. And I just love the orange blossom. I'm just gonna let this sit and seep for about five minutes. So while that's sitting, I'm just gonna sit here out on the back porch and just chill out. Little Miss Aubrey is taking a nap and she's sleeping, but it is very cold today. I woke up this morning and it felt like it was about 40 degrees which is pretty cold for Florida but this sky just looks absolutely beautiful um, I'm sitting out here with Jake as normal and just trying to get some fresh air I am super grateful that it's cold today because I was able to open up all my doors and windows in my house and just kind of air things out because I'm just trying to get the sickness out of my house before Christmas because I don't want anybody else to get this. Um, my daughter is also fighting this as well or something very similar, but she was able to get some antibiotics and get back to work and she's bouncing back a lot faster than I am. I don't have a great immune system, so <laughs> when I get stuff, it's usually, it lasts forever. It's pretty bad. So I think I'm going to make myself something to eat for lunch and my husband picked out this uh, Yes Butternut squash bisque and I've never had it before and it's actually by Campbell's and it looks pretty healthy So um, I've been trying to eat really super healthy So I think I'm gonna make a little bit of soup and drink my tea and then um, Little Miss Aubrey should be awake by then so this little sleepy head is still completely knocked out. I had a super rough night last night, so she might have been kept awake with mom's coughing all night. So she is just like completely tuckered out and fast asleep. I'm trying to stay out of the nursery as much as possible. I don't want to go in there and spread any germs. So I am just not going to be working. I haven't been working for like five days in there. So <clears throat> I'm just going to watch some YouTube until I get sleepy and hopefully take a nice long nap with this little one. And I hopefully will see you guys before Christmas and have another video up. Hopefully I'm feeling well by then. And if you don't hear from me, that's why. <laughs> because the holiday and, you know, I'm kind of down for the count. So I hope you guys enjoyed following me along on my wonderful sick day. <laughs> this stinks so bad. Oh my goodness, this stinks. I feel like I have been completely just 
taken over by germs for the holidays. <laughs> it's so not fun. But I hope you all are doing better. Hopefully it's not too cold where you guys are. Let me know in the comments below if it's snowing where you guys are. If you're expecting snow for Christmas. And I think I'm going to put some Christmas movies on maybe today. And watch some of our DVDs. Because all that seems to be on TV is like Hallmark Channel. And... By the way, yes, our Christmas star is having a seizure up there. I think it's very old and it probably needs to be replaced. So we may have to find a little replacement star on Amazon, but that's okay. This is our old family tree that we keep in our bedroom. And then we have the big one out there, as you can see in the living room but I am just still enjoying having all the kids ornaments and all of our dogs ornaments and things on this little tree here. Um, so we still put it up every single year, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.